y'all so today's video as you can tell from the title will be a space bun ish type of tutorial i'm doing the two um buns and my baby hairs and stuff this is kind of a review on aerial hair they sent me four 12 inch deep wave um hair and also a 10 inch frontal i believe now i asked for deep wave um shorter inches because i was trying to make like you know like a curly bush wig but at the time when i made the wig y'all know how i felt, feel about frontals i didn't really know how to make a frontal wig so i made the wig wrong so i made the whole wig and i was gonna do the review but the hair wasn't fitting like the wig wasn't fitting on my hair right and stuff so i just got kind of discouraged and i was just like fuck it fuck this hair whatever but um you know the company paid me and stuff so i have to do a review and i felt really bad but here I am now finally doing it. Um, I made the wig and I had two bundles left over. I, when I made the wig, I had like cut some layers and stuff in it too. So that hair, I don't really know if I'm going to remake the wig or what. But yeah, I'm just going to use these two extra bundles that I had left over for my buns today. So this is what the hair looks like. It's really gorgeous. Really, really soft. I love the curls. This would be perfect for a short bush wig. I don't want to give up on that. I st I'm still going to try to remake the wig or whatever. But as for right now, we're just going to do the two little buns. So this is what the hair looks like on out of the rubber band or whatever. So I'm just going to take my hair out. Part it, start parting it down the middle. So I'm just gonna take this spray bottle and wet my hair so it'll be easier to manage. I'm just gonna start brushing. Now I'm just gonna put a scrunchie on my hair. Taking some Eco Styler gel and my toothbrush, and I'm gonna dip the brush in there and just start brushing my edges back. Now I'm just gonna make this into a small little bun. Now we're gonna do the upside and come back. So now I'm just gonna take this part of the track where it's folded in half now usually you would put a hairpin in this if you're trying to wear it all day but i'm most likely going to take this right out after this video so i'm just going to take it and just hold it hold the track and wrap it around my hair really tight You obviously have to pin the end of the track or it will unravel. Now I'm just gonna put the other one on and I'm gonna come back to do the baby hairs. So this is the finished hair right now. I haven't decided yet if I wanna leave it like this or actually put it into buns. But while I'm thinking, I'm just gonna do my baby hairs and I'm using that same Eco Styler Gel. But to make my edges last much longer than they do with the Eco Styler Gel, I will do them with the Eco Styler Gel first and then I'll go over it with my got to be glue, the yellow one, for extra security or whatever. Extra long lasting edges. Because the Eco Styler Gel does last, but not as long as I want it to. It usually wears off by the end of the day, especially if I'm like moving around a lot and stuff. But the got to be will keep it right in place. So this is the, um, got to be glue that I used the yellow one like I said and all I do is like squeeze it and get some on the brush and just start brushing the hair Go crazy. I felt 
felt like the ponytails looked a smidge childish i feel like that's a look i could pull off but just not today so um all i'm doing is wrapping the hair around so they're kind of like messy space buns yeah this is a finished look this is so cute i think they're kind of uneven but whatever now this is for real, for real, I didn't have to use these to get these buns, but if you want your buns to look much fuller and stuff like that, then this is a perfect idea. But yeah, I'll definitely be using this hair in the future to make little ponytails and stuff, and hopefully, eventually, I'll end up me remaking that wig. But yeah, um, this one is higher, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.